<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited about today. I have such a busy day today. We're doing our live uh, right now. And then uh, this afternoon I am teaching a Zoom class to a group of fabulous ladies. We had a chance to meet on Thursday night in Hawaii of all places. So they are getting up at the crack of dawn to come and play in my sandbox this, this evening. So it is a big time change for them. It's seven hours difference from where I am to where they are. So we've had to uh, work on timing a little bit. But we have a fun couple of hours planned for you today. We're going to play with some mixed media. This is going to be super simple, lots of fun, and you're going to love it because this is just a no-brainer. This is sit back and just play in the stuff that you have. This is great fun. Um, as far as news, what do we have for news? We have, um, oh, all our, um, my mini brayers came in. All the little mini brayers are now up on the website. And my templates are in. These are fun, these shape makers. Um, these are fabulous for tracing patterns and for designing and for doing a bunch of things. So we finally got those in. Those are up on the website. What else is up on the website? Uh, a bunch of stencils. Oh, the, the, the pattern and the kit for, <laughs> for the piece we're doing today is up on the website. Yeah. All the stencils are in, so we are fully stocked. So anything that was back ordered to delayed, those are going out uh, this week. So they'll be out of here. We got some cool stuff in the uh, in the mail this week too. Yay. I have a new favorite website to go, you know, shopping on. I was looking for a really great butterfly stamp, and I found this website just because I was searching for a particular stamp. I found this website. Um, it's called DeniseParksDIY.com. Um, she's known as the Crafty DIYer. She has a really great site. There's some really cool stuff on it. She sells napkins for decoupage. She's got some great craft ideas for home decor and for painting and whatnot. But she also stocks Iron Orchid Designs stamps. And if you're like me, I'm just like the tiniest bit obsessed with stamps at the moment. I got these this week. They are awesome absolutely gorgeous that's kind of what precipitated the project today was that um i already had a couple of sets in and i had this one this one is all these little medallions they're fabulous and then of course i had to get you know something with script in it so i got that set and then i have this set with the bumblebees and all that good stuff and then <laughs> I had to have this. This is a wreath maker. So it's a series of stamps for creating all sorts of wreaths. So you know what I'm going to be playing with for the next little while. But if you want to check her out, she's amazing. She's got some great stuff on her website. Really nice wood surfaces, uh, art panels and whatnot that are really affordable, really great pricing and a nice selection. Not overbearing, not, you know, a ton of stuff that you have to file through for hours and hours, but she's got great product on her site. So check her out at DeniseParksDIY.com. Absolutely fabulous site. I'm going to hand those to you. Thank you. I don't want them. <laughs> but you can get them out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what else did we have this week? Um... I got paint. I got paint. I got a box of paint from Deck Wart. It was like <laughs> Christmas. I opened it up. There were three bottles of asphaltum in it. So I was a happy camper. Oh, and two bottles of Bahama Blue. Oh. And two bottles of, of Warm White. So all my, my staples. And I got asphaltum. Yay. Yeah, I was a happy camper. So, yes, it was like Christmas Day to get a box from yeah, Deck There's Sheila. Hi, Sheila. My girl, Sheila. Oh, my gosh. That's the other thing. Before I forget. Yes. Oh, Sheila. Sheila, I had ordered a, a surface or two from Sheila, which is not unusual because she makes awesome stuff. And she sends me a goodie bag in the box with some great giveaways for our group launch, our membership launch at the end of the month. Yeah. So um, there's some beautiful surfaces as part of our giveaway on for the membership at, on the 29th so I'm excited about that but I have to show you this this is beautiful this look at this it's a huge platter she had this on her website and it was pretty on the website but when I got it out of the box it was like oh my gosh this is going to be amazing so I have a plan for that so um Sheila I know you're watching lovey Mwah. 
thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support and you sending that in. It was uh, a nice little surprise and I'm really grateful. What else, what else, what else? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, no, you're drawing a blank today. No, I don't have um, enough coffee in me yet. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm going with. Um, update you guys on Dot. Dot's doing fantastic. She's bombing around in her wheels and chasing the tennis ball and, and doing dog stuff. Um, <laughs> she's doing just fine. And uh, Peanut, our... Uh, Temporary resident. <laughs> Our temporary resident is doing well too. He's growing like a bad weed. Yeah. Um, he's adorable. To watch him eat blueberries is like just the best thing ever. He is so funny. So to watch that little face just mow down on blueberries. On blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> he's cute as can be. So yeah. So oh, all yeah. of the wildlife and all the critters and creatures that we have in this house, including the children, are doing just fine. Thank you very much. Um. We had a bunch of questions throughout the week about uh, the membership program. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, membership program. I'm really excited about this. Uh, we were testing the new camera this morning, and it is amazing. I'm so grateful. You've no idea. Um, because you guys watch the the commercials, you know, or don't <laughs> the click ads. through them and watch the ads, what I call the commercials. Um, because you're doing that, um, you know, we make a, a little... A few pennies on every time somebody watches an ad or lets it run through and so those funds that we've been getting from those ads um, bought us um, two really really great cameras so yeah. we're going to be um, switching probably hopefully by the day that we launch the membership hopefully, hopefully the second camera will be in by then but um, yeah, the camera quality, the video quality is going, you're going to see a big change because we were blown away today when we were testing them. So, or testing the one that we got. And uh, we have we're all just waiting the, on one. We're just waiting on one more. All of the attachments, everything that we need for it is already here. So it's just waiting for that one camera. But um, the reason that we were able to do that is because of you guys watching every week. So thank you. We do appreciate everything that you guys do that you come here every saturday to watch all this foolishness so um the yeah. membership program i'm excited about it yeah uh some of the questions were um if you join the membership program will you have access to older material so if you join in september and you missed june july august uh, you won't have access to the pattern but you'll have access to the the, video. vi the videos, yes. the archived videos. Yeah. So you still have access to the class. Just now you have to purchase the the pattern. The pattern yeah. from previous months. From previous months. Yeah. But anything that you're a part of from the time you join, uh, <laughs> you're going to have a pattern every month. <laughs> We're excited about it. It's um, kind of scary. <laughs> and and he's a slave driver because he wants me to have at least two patterns and two videos ready before we launch so yeah. be, be at least a month ahead we want to be a month ahead so that you guys have ample opportunity to get your surfaces or any supplies that you might not have um, we are trying to make sure that all of the patterns if we're using a specialty product like the media line because i love the media line um, if we're using that then we're going to make sure that the pattern has potential you know substitutes for that in the Americana line so that you'll be able to paint along with yes. without having to go all over Hill's half acre to find paint so <laughs> I'm anxious to get painting I'm ready to play Will second camera be on Renee no no <laughs> nope nope he's camera shy uh, I'm not camera shy yeah you're camera shy <laughs> well, I love cameras I know. I'm a goofball in front of a camera. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's not camera shy. He's... Oh, what's this? What's up? Oh, just... Okay, well, guys, I think since we got all of the... Uh, and things... if you guys have any questions about the membership program, feel free to ask. Yep. I'll be here. She'll be here. And we... Oh, yeah, we have a giveaway today. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got a me? set of these um, templates. Uh, the shape makers I have a set of those shape makers to give away we have a set of dynasty faux squirrel brushes to give away oh wow yeah and um oh and we've got an m square 
circle, uh, it's M255. It's the Viewmaster stencil. And we also have a um, laser cut chipboard surface in the Viewmaster as well. So you'll, somebody will be getting that. So we've got lots of cool stuff to give away this week. Oh, <laughs> He's digging through it, trying to find us. I it. love surprising him. <laughs> <laughs> You can take care of the brushes. I can take care of the brushes, yes. So we have the faux squirrel. Uh, we have a set of that. So three of you are going to have a nice little prize pack sent to you on Monday. So don't forget to um, leave us a comment, um, ask a question, um, even just wave, say hello. We're happy. Let us know where you're watching from because we like to know that too. And uh, if you are ready to get started playing in paint, so am I. Here we go. Boop. Yay. So this is what we're going to tackle today. This is a really easy um, mixed media piece. It's fun. This is a jumbo tag. It's just a, a five and a half by ten um, wooden tag. You could put it on almost anything. You could put it on a tall skinny canvas or what have you. Um, but I just grabbed one of these. This just seemed like a good enough surface for it. The pattern that we produced has um, all kinds of stuff in it. We put the uh, the butterfly that you need for this. We've got a variety of different backgrounds. I put some interesting printables in there so you can choose what you want to put in the background. Um, I ran into a snag with this because I originally used this. Um, this is a Tim Holtz ideology. It's a tissue wrap called Postal. And uh, it's an older one. I have searched everywhere I can think of to find you a source for it and it is just quite simply not available whether they don't make it anymore I don't know but I was not able to find it anywhere um, so I had cheat a little bit so I um, I found a printable online I printed off one of these and stuck that in there and then um, I'll show you how to use both the the white paper the photocopy version and we'll do it with the, the collage paper. I love the collage paper because it's nice and thin and it actually goes on really, really nicely. Problem, that, problem is, is that it's almost impossible to find. So um, let's tackle one using, you know, the, the wow. printable type thing. Wow. Wow what? We have somebody watching from Malaysia. Wow. That it's is a wow. Midnight. It's midnight? Okay. <laughs> it's midnight in Malaysia. Okay. Well, welcome. So, welcome. Thank you for watching. So this is the jumbo tag that I've I used. I've got two coats of uh, light buttermilk or warm white on uh, each side. So we're going to start with the, the paper version. I'm going to put it on this side. Uh, the adhesive that I'm using is the media matte medium. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. If you cannot find the matte medium from the Decor Media line, if you have a tube of the matte medium from the uh, Premium Tube Acrylics line, that will work. If you have the matte medium from the Traditions line, that will work. If you have it from another line altogether, matte medium will work. You don't have to have exactly the brand that I'm using, but a matte medium will work. Um, I tend to shy away from using the decoupage because it dries so hard and so slick for this type of thing. Uh, so the matte medium is the ideal for this. So I'm going to take my paper and I have a little spritzer full of water and I'm just going to spray my paper, the back of the paper, like so, so it's good and wet. I'm going to set it over there. Where can I find out more about the membership program? Sadly, all the information is from us right now. Yep. So um, I haven't turned on the actual membership program yet. It's literally a click of a button away. And then the information is readily available for everyone. Just right now, we don't want to turn it on because that means every, everybody would have access to it. Yep. And we kind of wanted it to be... On a, on a specific day. Yeah. So. We're scheduling it. So it's for the 29th of this month. Yeah. The very beginning uh, mm. of June. Will Isn't be that here. next Saturday? Next Saturday, yes. Next Saturday, our membership program goes live. Yeah. 
So what you'll see is a blue join button right next to the red subscribe button. Yep. So subscribers, you'll still have access to the free Saturday live class. Yep. And members will have access to a members only live class once a month. Yep. And. And some videos. Yep. And a discount code. Yep. And some new emojis that I developed. <laughs> You're going to get some special treatment. Yeah, you get a little special treatment. It is $29.99 a month for Canadians and $24.99 a month for Americans. Yep. Or in U.S. dollars. I don't know what it is for uh, U.K. members if they decide to join, but I'm pretty sure YouTube does the... They'll do the math for they'll you. They'll do the conversion. <laughs> yep. So I've laid that wet paper, remember I sprayed it with some just plain, plain water on both sides. And now I'm using my brayer to seed it into that matte medium. Now the thing about this is it's going to squeeze out some of that excess. You can see it oozing out there. Well, and there's you just the troublemaker. Clean it up. Is that Miss Deb? Sandy. Sandy. Sandy's on. Miss Sandy's on. Morning, lovey. Oh, and there's Miss Karen Jones. Good morning, sweetie. It's morning for the for Karen. She's in Alberta, so it's still quite early. Um, uh, the wooden tags, I believe, are from Sheila. Uh, yes, I got these from Sheila. Okay. Uh, I also get them from um, Stockade. Yeah, put her website up. Get them from Stockade or Miss Sheila Landry. Yep. From Told Painting Designs. Dot com. That's it. So I have, I've rolled this out using the brayer so that it's well seated in that. And this is the fun part. You can use that. This thing is flipping awesome. I absolutely love this little, this Ranger Heat It craft tool. This thing is fabulous. It dries everything so quickly. And it's so quiet. I love the fact that it's so quiet. Mm. So. Uh, so look at that. Look at how quickly this is drying. This is amazing. No collage paper and tracing paper are completely different. <laughs> the collage paper is, it's awesome stuff. It's very transparent. Um, so I always base coat my surface first, but I love how this stuff looks. And it has a, a little bit of a tooth. It's a strange feeling paper, but it's absolutely awesome to work with. So there we go. Look how quickly that dried with that, with that little craft tool. If you're looking for one of these, I've had a couple of people ask me about them. Uh, I think Sandy McTeer has some on her website. Could they you are own, fantastic. Could you make your own paper with stamping on tissue paper absolutely how about it you could stamp on tissue paper stamp on copy paper it works just as well it's so there dry. that one is dry so you can see that actually worked out quite nicely it gave me everything that i wanted now to finish the edges there's always a little bit of paper left over i take one of these these uh nail files and i just sand the edge down and away so it just comes off easily and that way you have nice clean edges all the way around fast and easy look at that nice clean edges all the way around love it I like the finish I like it things to be neat and tidy on the edges so that's done with just that photocopy version. So let me clear this off. Now we're going to do the same thing again, but we're going to do it with this collage paper. And I'm going to take down Sheila's website there. There we go. So I'm just brushing a light coat of the matte medium onto this surface. I want to make sure the whole surface is covered though, so this sticks really well. How do you come up with designs? I struggle with coming up with cohesive originality. 
I don't sleep, so. <laughs> <laughs> She's a partial insomniac. <laughs> when I do sleep, I sleep well, but. And she surrounds herself with inspiration. Constantly. Yeah. Um, I could spend hours just cruising through a variety of creative websites. Uh, one of my favorites to look at is um, uh, one called um, artprints.com. You spend a lot of time on Pinterest, too. I, and I, I cruise around Pinterest. I cruise around wherever you're going to see how people do things. Uh, from time to time, though, I just sit down with a bunch of stamps, with a bunch of shapes, and just go to town. Because you can come up with all kinds of fun things that way. So I've laid that in. I use that brayer, make sure it's well seated into it. And again, you go back to that edge with that nail file. Always down and away. I don't saw it back and forth because that'll just pull the paper off. Now there's the neat thing about doing it with this tissue paper is because it's very thin, it shows that background color quite nicely. It just subdues it a little bit, becomes a little um, almost frosted looking. Um, so you are not relegated to just doing that in white. You can do whatever color you wanted back there. Just keep in mind that this is going to give it a sort of frosted appearance, that's all. Pinterest is a rabbit hole. Oh my God, you know. I, yes, it is. There's no way you can spend a few minutes on Pinterest. <laughs> you know, it's you get on Pinterest four hours later, <laughs> you're still on Pinterest. If you're, if you use TikTok, TikTok's the same thing. And you search uh, creativity. Yep. Wow. Yeah. You see some very talented artists and very talented. Uh, oh. Designers. <laughs> yep. A crazy. It's impressive. Yep. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the um, copy paper version. I heard you're on that one. Uh-oh, I better delete that video. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> No! Yeah. <laughs> I have access to it. There we go. Delete video confirmed. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, <laughs> Tracy needs to be on TikTok. Eh. She, I don't have time to be on TikTok. She cannot compress herself into 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. <laughs> Physically impossible. Physically and mentally impossible. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got my background done. And now we're going to figure out a few things. We're going to apply color. Now I've put mine on um, starting with the red at the bottom. Then I went into an orange. Then I went into yellow. Then into green. And then I went into the blue. I did them horizontally. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it whatever way you like. It really doesn't matter if you want to do it in a circular fashion. I just like sort of that rainbow effect in the background. That really appeals to me. Um, I'm working with the fluid acrylic today. So I'm going to start with my primary magenta, which is that gorgeous red. I'm working with cadmium orange hue. So if you want to, um, Try alizarin crimson, cadmium orange. I've got a little bit of green gold. There's your olive green. I'm using um, cobalt teal hue, which would be your Bahama blue. Got to have my yellow, which is the diarillide. Can you use... In Americana, it would be saffron. Can you use rice paper? Oh, yeah. I'd give it a neat texture. It would. Rice paper would be... Especially with the matte medium, because matte medium will seal it. You won't get the bleeding, right? Uh, I saw something about matte medium. There was a question about it. Love matte medium. What is the difference between matte medium and heavy matte medium? 
Heavy matte medium retains texture. Ah. Yeah, it's a, a heavy body, so it's thicker. Also, oh, dry if you leave brush strokes in it, it'll exactly they'll stay there. Nah. There's this matte medium will brush out nice and smooth. Doesn't flash well. Um. Oh yeah, it would probably do really cool yeah. effects. Yeah. You've got some. Give her a go. Throw a little water in it. Brush it out. Won't hurt it. So I'm going to start by layering in some color. I'm going to start with that uh, primary red or alizarin crimson or whatever red you want to start with. I'm starting with, what the heck did I do? I got green paint. Gee, I wonder why. Everywhere. Typical. <laughs> so I'm going to start with that. I love this primary magenta. It's such a great color. Boom. And I'm using a fair amount of water in it. Barbara Delp. Good afternoon, everyone. So you don't have to be neat and tidy with this. This is not all that perfect. So then I'm picking up a little of that cadmium orange. And I'm going to let those two colors merge. Just like so. Did you mean for postcard to be upside down? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. And then into that diarylide yellow or that saffron. And then you're going to sort of pat till those colors merge. This would look great. Neatness doesn't count. Perfection is to be avoided at all costs. <laughs> so there's that hot yellow. I love that diarylide yellow. Saffron yellow, that... It's got a lot of heat in it, right? It's a nice, bold, and in-your-face yellow. Then I'm going to go into my green, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just sort of slip-slapping some on, and then I'm letting those colors merge. And again, neatness doesn't count. My eyes hurt. <laughs> These know. colors are so vibrant. <laughs> they are really vibrant. <laughs> Love it. Good. I'm going to come back down here. I wanted a little more red. Yeah, those fluid acrylics are very high pigment load. Yeah, the pigment load in these fluid acrylics is insane, and I absolutely love them. Now, the top part is going to be that cobalt teal. And again, I'm just slip slapping that color in. I'm not overly concerned with perfection here. I just want these colors to sort of marry together, to blend in together. And it doesn't take much. As long as they touch and there's lots of water, they'll do the rest on their own. As long as it's not a perfectly harsh straight line, you're golden. But look at that. Oh, I love all of that high saturation of color. That in-your-face color. Love it. And it's so easy. It's just get it on there. I'm going to dry it. I love the fact that this retains a little texture too. I know where the color is a little more intense in places. I love that. The other nice thing is, is it dries really quick and once it's dry it doesn't reactivate so you can do some fun things with it. What you looking for? Where's Bob? Where's Bob? Bob is right here. Oh. <laughs> There's Bob. There's Bob. To see Bob, it was never far away. <laughs> Bob is there. Bob's there. He's here. He's always here. The, the fun part about doing this is that you could do it with almost anything. I was playing with a bumblebee last night. Is there a Canadian source for fluid acrylics? Fluid acrylics would be Country Bear. Stockade also carries them. I did check Country Bear the other day, and they have a fair amount in stock. Did I Just, miss the answer to the question, can this be done with an inkjet printer? Yes, you can do it with an inkjet. However, you have to seal your paper. So um, my advice is to take a, a can of Decorts matte spray and spray both sides of the paper, let it dry, and then you should be able to decoupage it on without any issues. 
or matte medium it on without any issues. So I played last night with this idea using um, the bumblebee. Again, it was just something that I had on my computer. I just printed it out, cut it off, cut it out, and then I decoupaged it right over top of all of that colorful background. In this case, I just reversed it. I put the blue down at the bottom and the red up at the top, but you can do it however you like. And yes, you can do it on phone stands. And you can do it on phone stands. <laughs> you can do it on whatever surface you like. That's the nice part, is that you're not relegated to doing it on exactly what I've done it on. You can do it on whatever you like. So this is where I kind of go in and think, you know what, I need to like kick things up just a bit. Maybe I want this color to be a little bolder. So I'm just going to tap a little more blue in and I let it come down over top of that green. They love the bee. The bee was fun. And then I'm intensifying these colors a little bit. I wanted them a little stronger. So what do we do? Can't find blue or green gold or yellow in the fluid acrylics. Now they're difficult to get these days. So I'm doing the same thing with that diarylite yellow. I'm just letting that color bleed into the green. And there's this, I love this orange. This cadmium orange is just yummy. So I'm going to let it bleed down and then I'm going to do the same thing to the yellow. The nice part about this is that just letting those colors bleed into each other it just gives you all kinds of depth and you you don't have to putz with it much to get these colors to blend look at that look how bright that is love it love it love it love bright, it bright colors are fluid acrylics different from acrylics you've used in the last few saturdays yes, uh, yes. the fluid acrylics have um these are more of a fine art product as opposed to a craft product the fluid acrylic has a very, very high pigment load and it has a very strong resin, acrylic resin, so it adheres to so tight. Once this is completely dry, it will not reactivate. You won't be able to move it around. The nice part about them, especially, is that pigmentation. A tons and tons of color. And transparent. And transparent. So you can layer and layer and layer without losing things. I absolutely love these. And I love all these vibrant colors in the backgrounds. Because whatever you put on top of them is going to stand out. And this was, this was just a fun piece to do. Just sat here and putzed and <laughs> played with nice butterflies. It would be really nice on a flower pot. And matte medium creates a barrier coat. So you can change things up, stamp on. If you don't like it, you wipe it off. And then you can seal things in with it. So it, it is such an awesome product to work with. Cool. So now we've got our background done. We have to think about a butterfly. Now, I used um, copy paper for the butterfly so that you're not having to gesso, you're not having to base coat. And you can choose how it goes in. Now, in the first one, I did it you know, almost straight up and down, so it filled the space quite nicely. Um, in hindsight, though, I think this would have been more interesting, would be to you know, cant it so that the tip of the wing here and here and then you know it kind of goes off the page a little bit i kind of like that little tilt it's uh, just adds a little bit more interest so we're going to take our matte medium again i'm gonna rinse my brush what do we got here what do we got and i'm going to put a coat of matte medium Will over the bumblebee everything available in a pattern pack yeah, it will. We're just, I'm not quite finished with it yet. So, so I've got a coat of matte medium. I'm putting it everywhere. So it's sealing in everything that I've already done. And it gives me a nice uniform surface. 
So I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm going to spritz this with some water just so that it lays nice and flat. Get pish pish water on it. There we go. Miss Paula has an awesome idea. Oh. Since you have a butterfly and a bumblebee, there's got to be a dragonfly. Yes, there will be a dragonfly because you know me. I love my dragonflies. <laughs> I have three tags, so I think butterfly, bee, and dragonfly will always. Be in <laughs> yes. Always. So I have just pressed that butterfly in like so. I've made a live from Tennessee. <laughs> I'm going to grab my nail file again and I'm going to sand the excess away. There we go. Ta da! Oh, I tore the wing. Gasp! Right there. A little piece that was supposed to stay put and it didn't. Eek! There we go. I fix. It's matte medium. You can fix anything with matte medium. Ta-da! Love it. So I'm going to dry this real quick. Oh, I have wrought iron triplic. Triptych. Triplich? Triptych. It's a metal piece with three panels that are hinged together. Ah! I was thinking on the wood pieces I would do this be in a dragonfly. Ooh, yeah. That'd be fun. That would be fun. That'd be pretty. Lots of color. Does anyone know a Canadian source for the heat tool? Walmart. Walmart.ca, yes. <laughs> yeah. Walmart. Did you print with a laser printer? Yeah. I print everything with a laser printer. <laughs> <laughs> everything gets printed on a laser printer. Yeah. Okay. So I have my pretty butterfly. Now I'm going to take a little bit of matte medium and I'm going to seal this in so that it's in there nice and tight. So it will not lift off. I love that by spraying it with the, the water, I don't get any ripples or bubbles or anything like that. So I'll dry this real quick. This is the nice thing about matte medium is it does dry really quick. I have trouble finding paint even online. Oh, Everybody does. Everybody's having trouble with paint. She works for a paint. I work for a paint company. I'm having trouble getting paint. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked my stash and found two rolls of Tim Holtz paper. Woohoo! Yeah. Mother load. I always have stuff in my stash and I have two rolls of this. And I have a bunch of the new ones. I have I gotta... other stuff in my stash. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we get to do some fun stuff. Um, I need, on my desk, there's a package of those butterflies. You need some butterflies. <laughs> I need some flutterbys. And I need my butterfly stamp. Ta-da! Now... Where's the butterflies? Ah, there's the butterflies. Deb Antonick's website, she's got a deal on this week. She has a coupon code for the long weekend. And it, the coupon code is May 24. Now, I know that she has some butterfly stamps on her website uh, because Stampendus has some flippin' awesome butterflies. Oh, Deb's not, uh, not on yet. Well, it's still here. early. She she's got to get a couple of coffees downrange first. Ah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> so, so this is where I get into my, you know me, I love my grunge stamp and I love my vintage note. And even though there's a lot of that going on in that background, I still like to add some stamps to it. So I'm using a stays on stamp pad for this. And I'm going to use my little, I love this little, I don't know what it is. I love that little cancellation stamp. It's one of my favorites, this little circle. I don't know why. I'm just kind of obsessed with them. So I like to add a couple of those. And I have this really pretty little scrolly one that's in the grunge set. 
and I'm going to put a little bit of that in. I love this. This can get busy. This can get really busy, that, and it's okay because it's mixed media. You can do whatever you want. So this is my butterfly stamp. This was in my Iron Orchids design stamp, but like I said, you can use any butterfly stamp you want. So I'm just going to get this one loaded with ink. You can use paint, too, if you want to. Either one will work. Paint, so ink. I'm going to put my butterfly right there because I want to stack them up. I know it sounds kind of silly, but I want to stack them up. The cancel Tuck stamp on. reminds me of bubbles. I know, right? Bubbles. <laughs> circles. I have a thing about circles and polka dots and, you know, and perfect little squares. I'm kind of obsessed with squares lately because of that um, hot sauce piece. Oh, yeah. The... Uh, with the checkerboard. Yeah. But then I did the... i got to show you guys something a little later on. But um, now I'm going to choose a couple of butterflies because uh, I really like this. So I'm going to punch these out. I have these on the website. These are made by Southern Ridge Trading. These little chipboard butterflies. So I want one there. And you can choose whatever you like. I just want a teeny tiny one for up top. It's like winning the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> and you should be watching for giveaways there, sunshine. So, okay, I've chosen my butterflies. I kind of want to make them graduated so that they go from small to this bigger one and then this bigger one. And so these ones are going to get just a coat of black. Nothing fancy, just a coat of black on top. You don't have to do much to them. Ta -ta -da. I just got to put a coat of black paint on these little butterflies and I'll set them aside to dry. Just set them on my palette. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of matte medium to adhere them to the surface when I'm ready. So the stencil that I used in this one is, you, you guessed it, it's that postal one. It's like my favorite. I don't know why. I just, I have this thing about circles. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, every time I turn around, that's what I'm doing. I'm using that postage stamp. Renee's about ready to kill me because we have tons of them in oh, inventory. It's Deb's wedding anniversary weekend. Yeah. So she might not be up. She's busy. She's busy. <laughs> She's getting busy. I didn't say getting busy. <laughs> no, I did. She's busy. She's busy. So I'm going to use my... Her mind. <sighs> I know. It's just awful. Terrible. <laughs> so I'm using my postal stencil. I'm going to put um, and some 24 karat gold. And I'm going to stencil that on there just because I like that shape. I use it a lot. You might have noticed. I use it a lot. Janet Benoit did not paint the last two weeks. They were giving me the urge to play in my paint room. Take us with you. <laughs> we'll paint with you. Well, so she'll paint our... with you. <laughs> so I've Valerie got comments. <laughs> that gold on there. Um, I really like this too. Again, I this me in this circle thing. We had some stuttering there. So a little bit of 24 karat gold on this one as well. Doesn't have to be opaque. It's just, you know, a little shimmer. I kind of like that little shimmer. I'm just using a portion of that stamp because I happen to like it. I have an old Fimo mold in my stash for making flat backed textured butterflies. Ooh, that would be pretty. I used quick wood with Lee Valley, from Lee Valley. Yeah. Fimo. Air dry clay or oven clay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Used to have that when you were kids. Yeah. Okay. I'm busy planting herbs and made myself late for your class. <laughs> it happens. It Life does. happens. So now I'm going to adhere those little black butterflies up here. 
And like I said, they don't have to be the chipboard. They could be anything. If you've got little wooden butterflies, base coat them black, stick them on. I know. So yeah. Holly says, reorganizing and cleaning my studio. Why would you do that? <laughs> now you won't know where anything it is. is. <laughs> the one thing about cleaning your studio is that you, especially if you're a creative, is that you find things that you forgot you had. And then... You start creating. Then you, it kind of gets your creative juices running. So I used a little bit of matte medium to stick those butterflies on. I like the dimension. I like how they change shape. I know. It changes the look of them. And it kind of stacks them up. Visually, it works really well. It's fun. So now we're going to start painting our butterfly. And this, this one is really fun because you don't have to do anything anything really serious. This is, it's all about fun. So I started mine with a coat of diarylide yellow. Oops, right over the part I didn't want to cover. <sighs> Telling you, rocket scientist today. So I'm just going to put a wash of that diarylide yellow over the wings. Taking care not to paint the areas I don't want to be colored. Nice. Because apparently I got a little too excited. <laughs> Diane Hendricks is working on two floral vase patterns. Ooh, pretty. Will there be a third to make it a set? Oh, <laughs> she's working on your... It's on the desk. Oh, is that the third? Yeah, that's the third one. Oh, yep. There, that's your answer. Yeah. You don't get to see it. I'm kidding. She might show it to you. I might show it to you. I will show it to you. Um, it's not finished. Oh. But. Um, then we don't show it. It's not finished. Well, it's. I went with red this time. So we oh. had uh, pink and we did. What's the other color? Black and white. Black and white. No, no. The vase isn't red. Oh. The flower is red. So now he's going to go look. <laughs> oh. It's opium. Opium, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leave it to him. I saw a lot of those in Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we have a third one coming. Should be up this week. So, I put yellow on everything on the wings. I've just left this top bar because that's going to get painted black. And I'm going to start at the outside edge of the wings, and I'm going to do that with the Bahama Blue. So Bahama Blue, or in my case, I'm using that um, Cobalt Teal. And I'm just putting a float of that blue along the outside edge of the wings. And we have Kelly Clark. This is my first live with you. Loving it. Oh, I'm glad. So the thing you will find is because we're working over top of that bright yellow, that uh, cobalt teal is going to give you a blue, a blue green cast, which I happen to love, love, love. And again, neatness doesn't count. We're not looking for perfection. We're not going to get it anyway. So uh, do, 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 do. I love that blue. Oh, okay. And I want a little bit on this wing right here. Now, because we were on the reds and the yellows here, that's why I went to the blue on the edge of the wing. If I had reversed the colors, I would have the reds and the oranges in here because it would be over top of the blues so that I get nice contrast. Introduce Kelly to Bob. Oh. <laughs> Introduce uh, Kelly to Bob. Are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> well, yeah. oh. We have a running joke. Bob is an accident. Bob is an accident. This is Bob. This is Bob. Bob is the zombie cookie. Yeah. The zombie gingerbread. I don't know. I kind of lost track of what I was doing. I was painting ornaments and ended up painting Bob with white eyes and white buttons. And he looked really creepy, so we called him the zombie cookie. And... So that's Bob. Bob Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so and he tries to get into every video. And he tries, yes. 
So I'm taking that green gold and I'm just floating right over top of that blue. And I'm walking that color out onto that yellow so that we get nice contrast and a nice gradient. And this is where things get fun. So all of these lines that we have in here, uh, you can just take, I'm using that the red, the uh, primary red, and I'm going to float around that teardrop shape with that red. Yes, it's okay if that color oh. bleeds out. Sorry to hear that, Miss Sky Matthews. What's up? Uh, her husband passed away on Wednesday. Oh my goodness. Uh, they had been married for 55 years, and she is using your live to help. Oh. Well, you have our deepest condolences, and I'm so glad that you're finding a positive way to work through your grief. Yeah. It's always hard losing a loved one. It is indeed. Oh, God! Uh, damn. Bless Sorry. you, now that everybody's deaf. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> I turned off the microphone before I it was too late. <laughs> Oopsie. Ah, I'll be right back. Yep. <laughs> He'll live. So I'm just floating a little of that red in. Now I'm going to use that cad yellow or that cadmium orange. I love this orange. It's so hot. And I'm going to let that color sort of bleed down till it melts. And you can put this wherever you like. You don't have to do it exactly the way I did it. Let that color bleed down in a way. I like how that orange is so hot. Pull a little bit across the top here because I like that. Especially when you go over top of that red a little bit. Watch how that red just gets this richness. It's so, so spicy. Fun, fun, fun. Now, I used white in this one. It would be fun to use black, too. Black would work to do those little dip dots, you know. I love orange. Orange is a great color. So I'm going to take a little bit of the carbon black and I'm going to heavily thin it. I don't want it full strength. Lamp black thin some out and we're going to just put a wash of that black onto the body of our flutterby. Doesn't need to be Solid black, but just a wash, just to darken it a little. <laughs> Gazunite. Gazunite. <laughs> <laughs> now where's my liner? I'm gonna grab a rigger. Well, I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's Kazunite. Kazunite? That's how they spelt it. Kazunite. Uh, oh, Kazunite. <laughs> Gazuntite. Gazuntite. So this is where I take my rigger or liner, whatever you want to use. Are there any colors you don't love? Um, is there any colors I don't love? Neon pinks. That's you. I like them because <laughs> of their neon. But, and glitter. Uh, and glitter. He hates <laughs> glitter. I discovered they have iron on glitter. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Renee, you just blew my eardrums. Sorry. <laughs> Are there any? Uh, yeah. So now I'm just outlining the wings with a, a line of that carbon black. 
this is just going to set it apart from the the rest of this piece and I like that it outlines this nicely now when I cut mine out I left a, a very small border of white just because it's easier to cut it out that way but I'm going to put a nice border of black all the way around my butterfly. <laughs> Blew my headphones off. <laughs> Glitter equals STD of wood world <laughs> of craft world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once one person has it, everybody gets it. Yeah. It's like that poster I saw recently about, you know, explaining COVID in craft terms. <laughs> Nine Iron people are crafting together. One person has glitter. How many All projects have glitter? Now you mentioned COVID. Now we're going to have that uh, little information banner. Oh, crap. <laughs> Second you mention it, it <laughs> goes up. Can't find matte medium anywhere in Canada. It's out there. It's out there. Um, try Country Bear. I know he's got, um, he still has quite a bit of the media line and the traditions and whatnot in stock. So he may have it. Look for it in, in other lines, not necessarily the media line. Look for it in the traditions line as well or in the premium acrylics. So I'm going to take my black and I'm going to give my butterfly a couple of antenna. Just stroke those in. And I'm gonna dry this real quick, but I wanna show you something fun. Now, I took after the fact, cause you know, I, art is never finished. It's merely abandoned an expression but um, I took my gel pen and I wrote some words in here that I thought were inspiring hope care share give help pray praise have faith dream inspire create I wrote those on the wings but you can do whatever your, your little heart desires so um, I took some warm white I know I have a bottle of it here I wanted to decorate the wings. You could actually do this with those little stick-on gems. I think that would be fun too. So right on the line, I like using the line as a guide. So I put some dip dots. I'm just using the end of my brush. Why does it want to be update software now? Stupid computer. And then I did it this way, going down there. I need a couple more people to click the like bu button because I need more names for the giveaway. Yep. So you got to click the like button. <laughs> so right now there's 110 of you in there and there's only 60 likes. Clickety click. <laughs> so I've got some dip dots in. I'm going to put one on the eyes. Right there. And I'm going to take a little bit of white, highlight my butterfly with a stroke of white. And I'm going to do the same thing to his thorax. And I'm going to highlight those antenna with a little stroke as well. So do you know Bob Lily? <laughs> Are you, are, are you that new that you don't know who Bob is? <laughs> if you know who Bob is, you're not that new. Hello, it's pretty. I'm new. <laughs> Hi, new. Hi, new. <laughs> I'm Renee. That's Tracy. That's Bob. That's Bob. There's Bob. <laughs> So you notice that there's a color I have not used yet that I usually use, that I almost always use. I'm about to use it. 
I'm just going to dry this real quick. Then we're going to lift this butterfly off the surface a little bit. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it was good and dry. Is it called Country Bear? Country, uh, yes, Country uh, dash Bear dash Wood dot com. Yeah, when I Google it, I get the Country Bears from Disneyland. Yeah. That's normal. Hope. Have you ever done watercolor as your background? Yes. Yes. I love watercolor. Asphaltum! They're asking where the asphaltum is. It's coming. It's coming. Don't She's... worry, it's in there. So I, like I said, I just like little notes of positivity. Dry those on there if you want to. It's my Yorkie's first birthday today. Well, happy birthday to your little Yorkie. Give him a <laughs> muffin. A cookie. A cookie. So I need my asphaltum. Asphaltum. Brand new bottle. A new bottle of asphaltum. Brand new one. Brand spanking. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm thinning this out a little bit so it's not full strength. But I'm going to float in and around my flutter by what do butterflies do they flutter by so i'm just going to shade all the way around the wings with a nice wide float of ashwaka <laughs> sheila what pen are you using my pen it's a uniball signo it's a japanese ink I like them for mixed media because I can write on top of um, acrylic paint quite easily. It doesn't jam up or, or clog. It has a stainless steel ball, so it writes nice and smooth. And I love it for this type of thing because um, it dries nicely. I do have to seal it before I varnish. That's one thing. You do have to hit it with some matte spray before you varnish. That's okay. But I love that I can work over top of any of my acrylics with it. I also use it when I'm tracing and transferring my patterns because it has such a small stainless steel ball that it gives me a nice crisp transfer without heavy thick lines. I don't like thick lines when I transfer <laughs> things. Sheila, you sent me one of them. I did. Yeah. Just ordered more. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. I love them. Yeah. Asphaltum is like magic. It just pops out the image. Yeah. Well, and it's a toning color. I like it because it'll subdue things enough, but it doesn't kill them. There. I'm going to, if you could center it yeah. a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'll zoom in. So I'm just putting it. It's a not a neat and tidy float, but I'm just putting it in there. And I love how it subdues colors without killing them. You know, it doesn't flatten the color out. So then I'm going to take that same asphaltum and go around the outside edge of my piece. Like so. How do I get, how do I get to your store? TracyMoreau.net. That's it. Just pop it up on the link. Yep, I'll put up a link. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. Cause you know, spaces in the internet world work. <laughs> Boom, there you go. Oh, really, YouTube? What did it do? It highlighted your name. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't even work as a link anymore. What the heck? Just pop it up on the screen. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have that. <laughs> Boop. There you go. Tracymoreau.net. <laughs> so I like that little bit of a at the edge. I just, it warms things up, keeps them. 
So there we go. See how pretty? I love how those colors just pop. That you can rearrange them. Gold is subtle. It is. It's meant to be subtle, not in your face. So now we're going to start adding some words of wisdom, if you want to call them that. Um, and I included those in the pattern. So I like to cut them out. I use, I have a drawer full of edging scissors. Like I own more scissors than you can imagine. One-eyed butterfly? Yeah, he's, it's just a highlight. It's a highlight. But um, you can use edging scissors or you can just simply tear it out. That's entirely up to you. But I like to use edging scissors because I just like the, the various shapes that you can get. Found them on Amazon. They come black, white, and in metallics. Order to set. Oh, those pens come in metallics. Yes, you can also get them in an opaque white. Nice. Have you discussed or decided on your monthly program yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We launch our monthly program next week. Yep. Next Saturday is launch day. Yep, it's launch day. And we've got some fun stuff. We've got special giveaways for that day. Um, and uh, we've got some fun. I just haven't quite decided what project we're going to do that day, though. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ah, the poo. <laughs> so we are going to have some fun, though. I can promise you that. <laughs> so the, with the membership program, don't worry. Members will still have access to the free content every Saturday. Yep. Along with their monthly content that they've purchased. That's right. Technically, that's what they're doing. And subscribers, there's a difference between members and subscribers. Subscribers yep. will still have access to the free content. Yep. But won't have access to the members' content. Yeah. Makes sense because subscribing is free. Yeah. So I've cut out all my lettering. Now all you have to do is decide where it's going. And I want mine like this. Oh, I should zoom out a little bit so it's, yep. you can actually see the piece. And then I like this one down here so that it overlaps the butterfly a little bit. How many projects in a month? You get one big one. You're going to get one big one. The patterns uh, are included in the cost of your membership so you'll receive whatever the pattern of the month is you're going to get that it'll be downloadable you'll be have access to it for 30 days so you'll be able to download it at your leisure but within that 30 days um, when we launch next week um, we initially were going to have the pattern available on June 1st but we'll have it up and ready to download on, on the day on the day so oh, okay. that they'll be able to download it right off the bat yeah. and um that pattern and the class plus yeah. there's going to be other videos and other little things and and we have lots planned for you but right off the bat you're going to have that one free class plus the the live class or the one free pattern and the and the live class that is part of your membership membership that pattern, I'm going to tell you right now, is flipping huge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, it, it originally, we were going to do like three or two. Yeah, We were going to do two membership lives a month. And that was a lot. Yeah. That is too much for yeah. her. <laughs> so we agreed on one a month. But it's a big one. Yeah. So she, she's already two steps ahead of me now. Because yeah. now i got to do all the setup once I turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> and get all the information to the other yeah. portion of it. Yeah. Uh, the membership will be for sign up on Friday? No. Saturday. Saturday. When we go. When we go live on Saturday. Yeah. I'll do a countdown right on the live stream and be like, I'm pressing the button now. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I've cut my words out, I want to um, get them ready. 
I don't like putting just the plain white. It's got to have a little age on it. So I'm going to float the bottom of it with a little bit of asphaltum. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking my brush and darkest value at the bottom. I'm going to do each one of those little pieces of paper that way. Just like that. Does that mean we will no longer have free access for Saturdays? Nope. Saturdays are still... Your Saturday is still... Available. Available. Yeah. Everybody will have access to the, the Saturday Live. Yeah. That does not change. Yeah. Nothing changes. Yeah. So, once you have those shaded, we're going to put a coat of matte medium. Nice thin layer. Like so... Will YouTube automatically charge your card each month unless you cancel? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to put my Be Your right there. I just want to make sure that it's straight. And it is instant. As soon as you cancel, you have you no longer have access to any of the content. Yeah. It, uh, like YouTube is pretty yeah. on the ball when it comes to that. You cancel, no more access. Unless you pay. React, yeah, until you reactivate it. Yeah. So I've got Be Your on there, and now I'm going to take my Be Beautiful, and I want to put it down here so that it just overlaps the wings a little bit. Like so. And then I put it, oh, goodness, got a little excited there. I've noticed that two major players in our chat aren't here today. Yes, Linda Sifranco and Jessica Killer and are both not here. Yeah. Linda Sifranco is off visiting family. She Did sent you? me a lovely message yesterday. Such a sweet lady. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll have to bring confetti for next Saturday's countdown. No. <laughs> no. No Con glitter. <laughs> <laughs> confetti is just big glitter. <laughs> So no. <laughs> what day will the membership class be on? Uh, It'll be on the... Um, oh, I forgot which day we were on. I think we were doing the 29th as well. 29th of June, but isn't that... What day is that? I think that was a Tuesday? Could be. I think. Give me a second. 29th of June is the date... Uh, of the first live class membership class anyway. yeah it's a tuesday yeah it's and a tuesday evening it's a tuesday evening yeah and we'll give you more information next saturday yep on that class because you'll be able to see what we're doing yeah the pattern will be available okay so i've got my words on now, I wanted to show you a fun way to um, to finish edges on something like this. I'm also going to take my pen because, you know, me and my pen. I like this scribbly line around the outside of the wings. Do you still plan to travel, teach in your spare time? Yes. It's... As things progress. Yeah. Which will most likely affect the YouTube free classes. Um, if she starts traveling again. And we'll just simply schedule around them. Yeah. Um, it, she could, in theory, do some other things in the pro. Yep. And we could actually, um, you know, if we're at convention or, or something like that, we could probably do a live right from the convention. Yep. So just a I, it's, quick 10 you know. minute one or... We're going to worry about that when things are opening up and going back to normal, but for the foreseeable future. This is it. This is it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to finish the edges of this piece. This is how I do it. You can use a stamp pad for this. You can actually use like a sponge brush for this as well if you want to use paint, but the stamp pad works really, really well. So you just rub the edge, but then you bring as the stamp pad so that it comes closer to the surface. I thought you were going to do the rolly thingy. No. So 
and I'm just rubbing the stamp pad on along the edge so you can roll it lay it right flat on the surface and then you get more of it on to the front of the piece I just love how this looks I just think that it's such a cool way to finish an edge June or May the mem the first member live class is June 29th yep it's a Tuesday and it'll be in the evening for us yep I think it'll be mid-afternoon for most Californians yep so I've got my edges aged you can do as much or as little of this as you like that's entirely up to you so if you like a lot more of it you want it looking a bit more grungy then do more but you can do as much or as little as you like for this so I'm going to dry this real quick and then we have to spatter because I you know me I gotta have my spatter and this is just so fun now I've used the same techniques for both of these all the way across the only thing that I did differently, I changed the position of the butterfly. I moved the stencil from being up top to down at the bottom. I've rearranged things a little bit. I've changed up my butterflies and it all works. So if you don't have exactly what I'm working with, it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever you have on hand. Little wooden butterflies would be great. Um, you can buy butterfly buttons, the little wooden buttons. <laughs> Most dollar stores have them. You can use those. So Beans. don't feel that you have to have exactly what I'm working with. You can use whatever you have on hand. Put your creativity to work. So that's now well dry. So we're going to spatter this. I like to use a little bit of black asphaltum and white. I like all three because I kind of like the, the yeah. variation it gives you. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the black. I'm, I don't know whether to be afraid <laughs> or curious <laughs> or both. So I'm spattering with a little bit of black and who's got you afraid? Um, it's Janet Mills. Oh, Janet. <laughs> Renee, I'm sending you a message via Tracy's messages. Okay. Okay. I'm confused. I'm confused, scared, and concerned. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of black on. Now I'm going to use a little bit of asphaltum. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so what is next Saturday? Next Saturday is a regular live class. Yep. Regular, free, live. Yep. But it's the launch of our membership program yeah and then i'm going to use a little bit of the thinned warm white i like this one because it keeps things light now i use the like the old toothbrush method for this um sandy uses the tap method i usually end up like gobs of paint in the middle of it if i try that i just don't <laughs> have the touch sandy's got a light touch when it comes to that So there it is with a little bit of that spatter on there. And that's that. That is such an easy one. Now, if you want to finish your edges out with a little bit of bling, um, break out your little gold paint pen there and finish the edges. I think you forgot the, the eye. The eye? Oh. <laughs> said, Don't forget the right eye. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, and what might you be teaching next Saturday? Um, I'm not completely sure what we're doing next Saturday. I've got a few pieces already done ahead, so I'm, I'm not, uh, I haven't decided yet. She has to pick and choose. But um, I have to pick. It might be something Christmassy. We've already done Halloween. Um, I'm playing with a skull idea, but I don't think we'll do that. Um, don't make him a bob. No, he's not a bob. <laughs> <laughs> so. Zombie butterfly. <laughs> zombie butterfly. <laughs> it's pretty close. So as you can see, this is not a difficult piece to paint. It was a lot of fun to put together. I'm thinking I'm going to have to finish out my bumblebee. I like in the bumblebee. 
The bumbly bee? The bumbly bee. I think he's fun. I just have to decide on, I think I have some bumblebees, some dimensional ones. Yeah. I think I do. Somewhere. I know. I've, they're in my stash somewhere, so uh, I'll have to scare some up, but i got to figure out what to do with it. But the same process, I just reversed the color palette, you know, went the opposite direction. I used the same stencil, except I used my bumblebee stencil uh, over uh, here. The gold paint pen you used, what was it? This one? Oh, these ones are great. These are the Deco Color Premium. You can get these on Amazon. You can also get them on uh, Walmart.com and Walmart.ca. They come in a pack of three, right? They got the uh, gold, silver, and... Copper. You can get them in a pack of three, but I like this gold one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, and if you can't get them, Krylon makes one too, but the Krylon ones are pricey. And they stink. And they stink. <laughs> but, um, you know, the other one I have is this one. This one's from Craftsmart. You can find these at your local uh, Michael store. And these work fine too, if you can get the lid off. There. I know they have a, nice, a pretty good metallic in them as well, so you know just fine. And these ones are you know reasonably priced. I think they're around the ten dollar mark. They're just fine. Does the butterfly and the bumblebee come in the pattern? Yes. Yes, the bumblebee. I haven't written, finished this one up yet, but the pattern that we have on the website has um, everything in it that you need. Like that printed background is in there. I a few it... other options. This butterfly. That paper butterfly is in the pattern. Yeah, I'm wondering. I think that's what they meant. Is like, Oh, this one is not in the same pattern, no. The bumblebee will be a separate pattern. Yeah. Because we're using How about something for Thanksgiving? Ooh, that would be a good idea. There's a something fallish. Something fallish. Fallish. You know fallish. me. Yeah, I love it. Autumnal. Autumnal. That's <laughs> the word. <laughs> we need something autumnal. I'd be happy to do that. That'd be fun. Yeah. I love working with that color a palette. A cornucopia. And you said that without assistance. <laughs> what was the word you were trying to wrap your tongue around this morning? Uh, <laughs> exacerbate? Exacerbate. Exacerbate. <laughs> I kept saying exacerbate. <laughs> <laughs> and it turned into something worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which is kind of what exacerbate means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew the meaning of it. I just couldn't get the word. I couldn't get the word out. It was pretty fun. Oh, any, okay, any questions here? Don't make him a bob. <laughs> He's running through questions. It's also his time to start selecting our winners for today. Oh, I already have winners selected. Oh, good for you. Gonna care what to happened with me? all the flowers? We were rhyming off. Oh. Oh, yes. Actually, I um, I do have doodles. Bleeding heart. Um, we we got to do bleeding heart. We, we have a bleeding heart to do. Um, I wanted to do something a little different because we've been doing that background a lot lately. Yeah. Um, so uh, I love the idea of doing something autumnal, autumnal, something for fall, for Thanksgiving. A maple leaf. <laughs> yeah, it's anything but a maple leaf. Hey, what's wrong with maple leaves? Not a thing. You're damn right. <laughs> But we have, um, yeah, something autumnal would be nice. I do have bleeding hearts in the lineup, and um, I have a magnolia in the lineup. Oh, that's right, too. You did the magnolia. And um, someone sent me a wonderful idea the other day to do a columbine or a passion flower. Oh, wow. So, um, those are either, colors. Those are nice, vibrant colors. Um, and I have uh, clematis, is okay. also another one that I'm thinking of. So. We have I can a few. The cameras can get there. There we go. There we go. So we've got um, we got tons of ideas, but I really do like the idea of something autumnal for next week. So I I have a few designs actually that we could um, easily make into a class. So that'll be fun. So oh, I pussy will... willows, they get Renee in trouble. What? <laughs> <laughs> Everything gets Renee in trouble. Yeah. I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> Yes. I'm not ready for fall, enjoying spring while it lasts. Oh. It's already turned into s summer. Indeed. Yeah. So uh, we have um, we have winners. Yes. Miss Anne Fogg. Anne Fogg, my girl. Anne's getting a set of templates, the, uh, the template set. Yeah. So Anne, 
um, hit that little message speech bubble on the front page of my website. Click on that little speech bubble and Giggity. send us a message with your shipping information and we will get you your set of shape makers out to you on Monday. Who else am I sending mail to? Uh, Kathy Rain. Kathy Rain is getting the, uh, oh, that new stencil. That one is so cool. <laughs> that You're getting the uh, Viewmaster stencil. Yeah. That little set's going out to you. And whom and the else? Brushes go to Barbara Delp. Barbara Delp, you're getting a set of the Dynasty Faux Squirrel brushes. So click on that little speech bubble on the first page of my website. It's in the lower right-hand corner. Send us your shipping information and a quick message. Let us know where we're sending it. And that will go out to you on Monday. No Mail Monday. No Mail Monday. Right, it's a holiday here. Oh, well, <laughs> it'll go anyway. It can get mailed. It just won't actually leave the station until Tuesday. So, yeah. But it will be out of here on Monday. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, no, no more questions. Wow. <laughs> Lots Everybody's of congratulations to the winners. Absolutely. Yes. A um, couple of things. Um, Sandy McTeer's got a whole bunch of stencils in, and she got the, uh, these things, flipping awesome. Oh, yeah. The heat guns. So check her out. She's got to check out sandymcteerdesigns.com. She's got tons on her website. <laughs> Or he's going to pop it up on the screen. I think. Yep, there okay. she is. Um, surfaces. Um, a couple of the surfaces in the uh, membership group um, pattern are from Sheila Landry. Yes. I love her surfaces. She does such a beautiful job. They're always so beautifully finished and ready to paint. Um, and she is at TollPaintingDesigns.com. Don't forget to check her out. She's also donated some great giveaways for our launch next week. So we're really excited. Uh, we have some really nice giveaways for next week. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. And the membership thing is exciting and scary and whatnot from this end because I know how much work is going to go into it and how much work we've already put into it. Uh, so we're really hoping it goes well. The, uh, uh, I'm going to talk to her about a giveaway. <laughs> what do you want to give but away? I have to make sure I'm able to do it. Okay. Like actually do it <laughs> on this end. Okay. Because if I can't do it, then there's no point in okay. talking about it. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So, yeah, we're going to have some really nice giveaways next week because sponsors have been unbelievably supportive. So we're going to have some really great giveaways. So if you have friends that you want to introduce to, uh, to this, please, by all means, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. And uh, there's Deb. Yeah, there's Deb. <laughs> she just logged in. <laughs> Now, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. If you are not, if you don't have an account on YouTube, you're going to have a hard time uh, joining the membership group. So if you haven't got an account, set one up, make yourself, make things a whole lot easier. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications. It'll tell you when we have new video posted. It will also tell you when we are going live. It'll notify you when we're going live. And where is it? Stamps, stamps. Ah, yes. Okay, grunge stamps, the vintage note stamps, the all of the stamps that I use, plus a whole bunch more. Miss Deb has them up on her website this week, and she's got a great sale going. Right now, the um, coupon code is May 24. It's to celebrate the what we call the May Long here in Canada. Yeah. It's Victoria Day weekend. Uh, so it's a holiday. <laughs> So Monday's a holiday, so May 24 is the coupon code. So check out paintingwithdeb.com so that you can uh, get in on some great deals on her site. She's got all kinds of great stamps on there. So go check her out. And she ships to both the U.S. and Canada. So go check her out. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Don't forget, if you're looking for the pattern or the kit for the piece that we did yeah, today, uh, it's up on my website. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, I got a whole bunch of new stuff in, new stencils. Uh, we got stamps in. We've got surfaces in. We got a bunch of stuff. So check us out. Stamps? Yep. Stamps. Where are they? Well, they'll be here Tuesday. Ah. So yeah. they're not in. They're not technically in, but they're on the website. They're on the way. Uh, so we have a ton of stuff. Um, for you guys on there. Patterns, new patterns will be going up on Monday. So I've got a couple of new ones that we have uh, um, 
we'll be able to post the pattern for the bird of paradise i'm teaching that one tonight yes and so it will be available on monday as well so that one i'm excited about that pattern it's one of my favorite pieces i've done in a long time it's just it was so much fun to do and it looks so great and um i got a couple other things going up so Having said all of that, <laughs> thanks uh, you guys so much for joining us today and every Saturday. We really do appreciate it. Next weekend, you get to see things with a whole new light with our new camera system. Hopefully, Hopefully if the new camera, uh, the other new camera gets here. Yeah. We've got one, the other one is. And a bunch of other a, new things that yeah. involve you guys. Yeah, so we got a whole bunch of, of stuff coming up next weekend. So. Having said all of that, thanks again, you guys. I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. I know I did. Stay safe. We'll see you again soon.